Welcome into K-State Online. I am Mason Voth, joined by Drew Galloway, and we come to you with really some exciting news for K-State because we had talked recently how how fast is recruiting going to you know kind of keep on this pace? Will it slow down? But we did know after we talked on Monday, hey, K-State is in play for a couple of guys that are flip candidates. One of those was Logan Bartley, a safety from Florida that we will talk about today because he is in, indeed committed to K-State now. Uh, and then there were some other guys that are still on the table for K-State, but they were not the reason for a cat signal that came on Monday. Uh, kind of, I, I don't know that it caught us by surprise, but it was one of those where when it happened, you start to go, oh, in interesting. Uh, and it led to K-State taking two safeties this week, which is not a bad thing because it's a position that they needed to address and they land Noah King and Logan Bartley, two guys that they've uh, been on the trails of recently. Yeah, both guys, I think K-State really prioritized and really obviously wanted both of them as well. And, and it is interesting to kind of look at the class as a whole. Uh, and somebody kind of asked uh, yesterday or two days ago on the message board uh, kind of about why so many safeties why so many corners because uh th this the corners kind of leads into what i think with safeties uh because i i think that they needed to address some pieces in the secondary especially in the younger classes i mean you look and k-state has two corners that are true freshmen or redshirt freshmen right now the, the younger safety class is a little bit bigger, but also only took one safety in the 2024 class. So if you can make three or four safeties work in this class. And the other thing that helps is RJ Collins has positional versatility, could be a corner, could be a safety. And you kind of go from there and see what kind of happens there. So I, I think that they can make it work. And I think that the way that you can make it work really well is if you can get somebody on campus right away that can play and then you kind of have your your class distribution maybe a little bit better and, and i think that that's a possibility as well so i think that taking a lot of safeties and taking a lot of secondary guys and, and we'll kind of get into it uh and we got into it a little bit with the linebackers if you can get a guy that can come in and play right away i don't think that it's a big deal especially if the scholarship limit goes to that 105. So I, I think that K-State got two guys that they really wanted and two guys that are pretty prototypical safeties and what what they look like nowadays. Yeah. So all right, let's let's dive into to Noah King then. Uh he is the the first commit of the week for K-State that K-State ended up getting. Uh from Ohio, DY noted, hey, they might be having a couple of Ohio kids in the class uh that end up coming into play. Uh, what are your takeaways on Noah King, who has been recruited longer by K-State, and there was some talk about maybe Kentucky being involved. I think at one point he had the RPM favorite there because one of the, the on-three analysts put something in. Um, how did this all come together, and what do you like about Noah King at K-State? Uh, so this came together pretty fast. Uh, I believe him and uh, Logan Bartley, I, I believe, were offered like in a pretty similar time frame, uh, it, it came together with King. His recruitment really kind of took off over the summer. Nebraska, Kentucky, both saw him at camps and really, really liked him and wanted to get him uh, to officially visit during the month of June, but he was a little bit more patient. Uh, then uh, K-State gets involved and K-State offers, and he comes and takes an unofficial visit to K-State where it I think that people don't realize this, but Noah King was in Manhattan for like three days uh, during the contact period, uh, which closes later today, I believe. Uh, but he was in Manhattan for three days and uh, two of those were visiting. And then uh, he also camped and was one of the standouts at the camp uh, because he just he is a very big safety. He's six, all of six two, six three, one ninety to that 210 range and can really, really run is pretty physical. Uh, I kind of compared it and put it in the KSO chat where Logan Bartley is probably the better player right now, but Noah King probably has a little bit higher of a ceiling because he still has 
uh, a little ways to go and is a little bit more raw than Bartley is. Uh, but the the one thing that I will say is uh, Noah King, very, very physical and not afraid to put his face in and go. Uh, the The one little kind of thing that I think will make him better and why I think that he has a little bit higher of a ceiling is that there are some things that Noah King can really work on during the fall uh, before he gets on before he gets on campus. And I think that a little bit might have to do with uh, I'd like to go back and kind of check like a growth spurt list uh, because he moved a little bit slower and was a little bit slower laterally at the camp than I think that I anticipated. Uh, but I think that some of that is just growing. I mean, these are 16, 17, 18 year old kids. So you kind of see that. And that's something that can easily be corrected as soon as he gets uh, more used to what his body is now. So I, I don't have any concern about that. Uh, but I, I really, really like his physicality. And he's a football junkie. I mean, that, that's something that he told me and something that uh, KC really prioritizes the safety position. I mean, because the, the safety's coach and defensive coordinator Joe Klanderman might be the biggest football junkie on the staff. All right, so if Noah King kind of came together quickly, Logan Bartley seems like it may have come together even quicker than that, and it was evidenced by the fact that uh, there was the interest that was coming and building, and then Monday after Bartley had been in town, announces, hey, thanks to Wake Forest, but I am not going to be a Demon Deacon, and that kind of was the writing on the wall that K-State has probably won this thing. Uh, so what do you make of Logan Bartley, another Florida kid for K-State, where over the last three or four years they've been a lot more active than we saw in the seasons prior? Yeah, K-State keeps dipping into Florida and being really selective about when they go into Florida, which I think that you can see is when they really, really like someone from the state of Florida, it typically works out. Uh, but with Logan Bartley, he is like what the prototypical safety looks like. He uh, visited actually the same days as Noah King. Uh, but uh, what, when I saw Logan Bartley, he was at the K-State camp just hanging out and hanging around the K-State support staff, hanging around Joe Klanderman. And you could really see how big and strong he is. And another guy that is very long, very physical, can really, really run. And I'm really excited about Logan Barley. I think that he has one of the potentials to be one of the best commitments in the class uh, when all the rankings are kind of said and done near the end. But obviously won't catch Lincoln Gear, but could be in the running for that second spot, which has a lot of really good players in it. Uh, but he can cover, he can run, and kind of looks like that NFL-type safety now where they're about that 6'1", 6'2", 190, 200-pound range. And I'm really, really excited about him. And I think that you can kind of see why on these highlights. Yeah, he's he, he comes across and it, it definitely stands out there and you're getting to see him just in, in different ways perform at a high level at the position that K-State wants him at, which is safety. So uh, it's I think it's probably good for people to hear that you say that both of these guys were in town at the same time, that there was overlap there. Uh because I do think that there would be the 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 thought that some could have that okay the writing was on the ball the wall that Logan Bartley was going to commit to K State and so Noah King was like hey I'm going to hop in this and make sure that I still get my spot but it it comes across as K State really wanted both of these guys in their 2025 recruiting class yeah K State really wanted both guys and I think that both guys really knew that K State wanted them both and was prioritizing them both and I think that you saw that. Uh, Monday because Logan Bartley actually reposted uh, Noah King's announcement and I wouldn't be surprised if Noah King ends up reposting Logan Bartley's announcement so I think that everybody kind of was on the same page with how this was going to go which, which is an important thing because you don't want to lose some of these guys and, and this is one of the best classes of safeties that I can remember K-State signing in a long time uh, I, I'll be I'll be a little bit bold here on my call because I know that typically uh, one of your one of your questions is uh, a timeline of playing. I think that if I was to guess right now, I think that Logan Bartley is a safety that will play as a freshman. 
so you think we're, we're talking next season, Logan Bartley is seeing some playing time. Yes, I, I think that he is probably the one that is the closest to seeing the field right away. And, and like I said, I, I would like K-State with the big, bigger group of safeties to make sure that one plays and probably doesn't redshirt. Yeah, that makes sense. Stagger him out a little bit. I mean, you mentioned it earlier. It's You're basically creating uh, kind of the, the class health with two guys from the same class kind of splitting the atom there and having one go one way and one the other. And it makes sense, too, based off the evaluation you gave where Logan Bartley is probably the closest to being ready right now in the finished product. Noah King is the guy that, you know, if we're sitting here talking three, four years from now and he is one of the better players on a K-State defense, that should not be a shocking thing. No, I saw somebody kind of comp Noah King to the like a VJ Payne. And that, that, that's not entirely incorrect. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. And VJ Payne also played right away. So I'm, I'm kind of playing a little bit of both sides here, but I, I think that Logan Bartley right now is probably more likely to play as a freshman. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Well, uh, you, you said it earlier and kind of alluded to it about, hey, maybe there's some movement that happens here. But if you go and look at at what K-State was able to land this week, um, they ended up getting two of the top six players in their recruiting class now this week. Gets them to 17 total in the class. Uh, is this thing when, is this thing going to touch 20 commits in 2025? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this class ends at like that 20 to 22 range with kind of how things are tracking. I know that defensive tackle is still probably something that K-State really has to have. Uh, another wide receiver is something that they probably have to have. And, and then another offensive lineman is probably another one. And then I would save one for like a best player available, maybe a running back maybe another well, another defensive end is also another need. So probably have a best player available spot and a defensive end at the high school level. All right. Sounds good. Well, that is the latest for K-State recruiting as they land two this week with Logan Bartley and Noah King. And uh, if you didn't see what we talked about on Monday, go back and watch that or uh, head over to on three, find K-State online. A lot of good stuff from Drew and DY because there is a chance that uh, over the next week or two, the K-State recruiting news is not done and that that class of 17 could turn into a few more. So for Drew Galloway, I'm Mason Voth. That'll do it for us. Noah King and Logan Bartley are the newest members of the class of 25 for K-State. We will talk to you again tomorrow. And if you want more on the Cats, head on over to On3, find kstateonline.com and get hooked up there.